Salt Lake City's proximity to the nearby resorts provides access to turns unlike anywhere else. Utah has seven resorts all within a 45 minute drive of the airport. This, <laughs> this is obviously not Utah, but I brought you here to San Diego to really showcase Utah's accessibility. The plan is to take you from sand to snow, from surf to shred, from coastline to ridgeline, and the same amount of time it takes to build an appetite. We'll wake up and have breakfast here in San Diego, then we'll catch a flight, make some turns, and have lunch at Snowbird Summit Restaurant. So get some rest. I'll see you bright and early. A blueberry with frosting, and then a, a glaze and a maple old fashioned. Let's go catch that flight. Salt Lake City International Airport has 99 destinations in five countries, all with nonstop service. The majority of those flights are on our partner, Delta, as Salt Lake City is a hub for the carrier. That means if you live in one of the 99 cities serviced, you don't have to connect. And that helps cut out some of the chaos of travel, like lost bags or missed connections. If this is your first time in Salt Lake City, or if it's been a while, the first thing you'll notice about our brand new airport is how beautiful it is. The designers made an effort to bring the outside in with massive windows showcasing panoramic views of the mountains. Local restaurants and boutiques also provide a taste of Utah for visitors before they step foot out of security. The second thing you'll notice, the walk. Keep this in mind for when you leave. Give yourself enough time and hydration for the walk out. Don't end up like our friend here. There's talks of a train being put in to help cut down the walk. Had the good luck of landing at one of the closest gates to security. We're just under four minutes and we're on the other side. That walk can definitely stretch out to be a lot longer. So if you checked bags, you'd be waiting a maximum of another 16 minutes as most airlines will guarantee your bags within 20. From here, you have a few different options to get to the mountains. You can walk across this bridge over here, pick up a rental car. Downstairs, you can pick up a shuttle. There are buses that'll drop you directly to your resorts. There's also a light rail that you can ride for free with your boarding pass and then transfer to a bus that'll take you to the mountains. But since I'm a local, all I have to do is find my car. Get in, loser, we're going snowboarding. We are pulling into Little Cottonwood Canyon right now. The current time is 10.27, which means we should be up there parked before 11 o'clock, making great time. It is 11.05 and we are officially on the mountain, headed down Chickadee to Peruvian. One of us is ready. That's the other one. The other one is not. What a view! <laughs>
nice, dude. How you feeling, hungry? I am definitely hungry. Let's go get some food. Okay.